Hi, my name is Tony Nasca with DoveNet Technologies, and I'm here to introduce the newest addition to the DoveNet suite of products, the project system linked to UPS WorldShip. The purpose of this product is to streamline the process of generating UPS labels and reduce errors. So let's demonstrate the product. We have here the project system, and we have a sales order ready to be shipped. Now we have two methods for generating the packing list in our system, one using serial number tracking and one the normal select the items line by line. So let's go ahead and select items to be shipped, and we go ahead go to create packing list, and then from here we can go ahead and use our scanner to actually scan in the items we want to ship. From here, we could go ahead and generate the packing list directly. But for those that are not using that module, we can also use the manual method and select the items to be shipped. From here, we're ready to generate our packing list. We press exit here, continue to generate packing list. And on this screen, we can go ahead and select our shipping address. Notice it brings over the phone number automatically. Now, a required field is a, a shipping weight of the first carton. So you go ahead and put that here. And when you're finished selecting the address, you just go ahead and press this UPS ship button. And it brings in the interface to UPS World Ship. Notice it's already selected the shipper ID and our address. Now, from a setup position, we can go ahead and actually set up the account number for UPS World Ship and our addresses, and we can have uh, multiple account numbers if you have multiple uh, UPS ship IDs. Notice you can also edit a valid zip code list. If you have a situation where a new zip code has come into the system before an update comes from us, you can add those zip codes to the system automatically. So now we're ready to fi finish off this package, and notice that we have ground selected, and you have the normal drop-down of uh, different methods of service from UPS. And then we also have the uh, type of packages, and who is the shipper, who's going to pay the bill, i.e. the shipper or the receiver. We have not interfaced third-party integration at this point. Now, notice that the delivery, Saturday delivery, is not available because we've selected ground, but if we were to select next day, then Saturday delivery would be available. And we can also identify this as a residence delivery. And then, then notice the system brought in an email address for notification purposes. Uh, back in project system here, you can store uh, a shipping address from the customer for the project, from the ship address from the project, and from the customer on the customer list itself. And that information gets brought in automatically. And then we brought our weight in. And now from here, we can go ahead and declare a value if there is one. It brought the project system number as a reference and also the PO number if there was one. And you can declare the size of the package, additional handling charges, and also whether this is a large package, and whether you want to have uh, confirmation uh, by signature required. Finally, the COD value can be uh, declared as well. When you finish entering all the data on this, you just go ahead and press this post button. And the system goes ahead and identifies the data to be shipped over to UPS World Ship. Now, if we have a second package, we can go ahead and just go ahead and identify the weight of that package. It assumes everything else is the same. Go ahead, post. And you've got your second package ready to go to World Ship. When you're ready to actually send the data over to World Ship, you press the send button right here. Send to UPS World Ship. And the system sits here waiting for the data to come back from WorldShip. Now, we actually have uh, WorldShip loaded on the second machine. So we're going to jump over to that machine. And here we are with the machine and WorldShip loaded. Now, preliminary to this functionality, we have created a uh, import mapping. And so we have these two mappings ready to go. We have a import mapping, which brings the data in, and then an export mapping, which sends the data back to project system uh, for purposes of tracking. Now, the actual process of running this import is simple. You just come right here to import. You click on batch import. And you go ahead and say, uh, select your import right there. And then you go ahead and select uh, process automatically, which generates the labels automatically. And you press next. It brings in your two packages. 
we press next, and the system goes ahead and generates labels uh, just that fast. Now, these labels are sitting here waiting to be sent to UPS World Chip, and you notice there's our two packages ready to go. And if we touch on the packages, you see it has all the information already uh, put into the system. There's our 10-pound package, and there's our 5-pound package ready to be sent out. Now, at the end of the day, you would just do the normal end-of-day process, which actually sends these packages up to UPS. Okay. Now, back in project system, you may have noticed already on your screen that the system has gone ahead and uh, dropped that other screen because it found the data, and it went ahead and imported the data right into the system. It also brought the shipping right, uh, shipping costs uh, back to the system, and if you want, the system can automatically post this to the job cost module, capturing those shipping costs against the job. When you're finished to get the actual label out, you come over here, and there's our packing list. Notice it has the first primary tracking number, bill of laden, and then it has a secondary tracking number for that second carton, and here's our packing list ready to go out the door. Okay, and so that is the uh, system, and uh, here's the example of the label that is printed out automatically from UPS World Ship. And uh, last but not least, let's go over some of the benefits. Uh, first of all, we help you reduce errors by eliminating the fact you have to retype the system labels into the world chip. Uh, it speeds up the process for generating your labels. Uh, it can send out email notification when a package has been picked up and delivered. And then it brings back the tracking numbers back in the project system. So that's automatic. It also brings back the shipping costs uh, back in the project system. Uh, so basically, this whole integration is about saving you time and money. Thank you very much. Please contact DoveNet Sales for the pricing on this module and other information about the project system. Thank you very much for your time.